Maddie and Jimmy. Hey guys, this is Maddie and Jimmy and our live show. Very exciting. Now, we always love chatting to our fellow Lego masters, married couple, Danny and Tim. Absolutely. But Jimmy, the last time we spoke to them, they've done a lot. It's they have. Been they've been very busy. Of, they have been two weeks of building. It's been epic. We have seen them build up a magical wizard tower, exploding alien parasites, sleeping giants, floating pilot fish, and probably the coolest box of shaking popcorn that I have ever seen. Welcome back to the show, Danny and Tim. Hi. <laughs> So good to have you guys. Wow, what a couple of weeks it's been. Yeah, guys, I think the entire nation went out and made popcorn after seeing your epic win on Monday night. How does it feel to finally... Yeah, how does it feel to finally toast some victory? Oh, it feels so good. We actually got into the top two. That was like our goal coming into the show. We talked to at least once and we won a challenge. Yeah, like yeah. we came really close with the anglerfish and we lost it in like that last little moment. And then getting this is like the follow up. It's that redemption. It's the sequel. Like it's, it's great. So good. Yeah, so absolutely. Good, I think Maddie and I um, made the the promise that we'd just make it past the first elimination. And once we'd done that, we were the same. We were like, we just want, we want to win something. And um, you guys, so good, you guys, guys certainly, you know, blew everyone away. And I love that you didn't make a building. You just, you went completely outside the, the box, the 1.2 metre box or whatever, and, and went for that popcorn. And um, using those yellow bricks, to sort of absorb the vibration, can I ask, was that a stroke of genius or was that just a massive fluke? That was a fluke. I just literally <laughs> was a building and then popcorn just came to my head. It's like the Lego gods whispered into my ear and it was just the stroke of brilliance and I don't think I'll ever have an idea that I could again. And like, it, it worked perfectly for us because we started doing not aesthetic. So the bottom of it was really ugly and Danny just didn't want to keep grabbing just random bricks. She was like, you know what, I'm just going to turn this into a rainbow because I can. <laughs> and then when she had the, the idea, she had all these levels ready of all these different colours. And so I was already stacking them. And then we're like, well, if we, if you want to do popcorn, if we, there's time, we'll just put like a white um, and red thing around the base that says pop so to indicate that it's popcorn. And I think we could probably just get away with this. So it was pure luck. Oh, it I love amazing. that. Because I, I was watching you guys with Dave from Dave and G and, you know, he's a mechanic. And so he was breaking down what you guys were doing, saying it's so clever, it's going to absorb the, the vibrations <laughs> and how vibrations work at different levels. And I was like, okay, great. Wow, those guys are <laughs> so smart. But I love you just like us. You just flipped it. <laughs> like that whole thing is hollow. Like it's just got the technique running through it. And then other than that, it's completely hollow, except for the pocket at the top that's just filled to the brim with all the popcorn. So, so oh, clever. Yeah, you guys need some sweet popcorn deal after this. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, I know that. <laughs> and I have to say, visually to the eye, I'm a sucker for colours. I love a bit of colour vomit and it was beautiful, guys. It looked so good. And I'm a tad OCD, so I'm so glad you covered up that bottom part. I'm just like, oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Now, guys, it hasn't all been smooth sailing. You have had a few little shaky moments, um, including in the first episode, you, you lost a sail. And then, of course, we saw that little uh, fin fall off in the uh, hanging brick challenge, which just, oh gosh, it broke yeah. my heart at the end there. Um, how do you guys keep it together when things are falling oh. apart? You're amazing. Uh, look, speaking of anglerfish, is, is that like oh. a, is that an offspring? Look. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, Dewey so, Junior. Dewey Junior. <laughs> yeah. So we nicknamed we nicknamed the anglerfish Dewey because we asked. I was like, do we name it? Well, do we? Do we not? So this is <laughs> anglerfish. <laughs> yeah, no, it has been all smooth sailing. But like with the anglerfish, we tried something new with trying to make the fins move on the side, and we were hoping it was going to be that thing to impress. You um, know how Brickman likes it when you take a risk and really push yeah. yourself. I was hoping to get some brownie points. That didn't work out. No. <laughs> oh, honestly, though, but speaking of brownie points, you guys totally won me over. That was absolutely beautiful, that fish. I just want it hanging in my house. It's like an art piece. It could yeah. easily go in a brick man exhibition for sure. Absolutely. Like, it's the first time we've made a fish. Like, we've done creature builds and stuff before, but like a fish was a very abstract idea. We're like, oh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And it, it went really well. 
Oh, and it's it was really so funny. Nice. Before we went on the show, um, I bragged about how our creatures are like unique and one of a kind, and we're bringing it to the show. And Tim's like, shut up. We might not actually do anything good with creatures. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad I still bragged. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we have some uh, lots of questions coming through. I have a question from someone who is just calling themselves Dad. Dad. Um, dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, well, you know, we're talking about all the things you've made. Dad asks, I wonder if it's my dad or your dad? <laughs> Could be. You, maybe Could it's be your, your guy's dad. dad. <laughs> um, but look, they are asking, <laughs> out of all the things you've made, what is your favourite, uh, and I guess you can't give anything away, but what's been your favourite build so far? I mean, popcorn is still my favourite. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So. And I really like the angle of fish. Like, I get like that. That's pretty much it. What happened this last week has been some of our most like amazing Enjoyable. builds, and we've actually really enjoyed it as well. Like the challenges are tricky, but we sort of were like, let's just do it. Let's get onto this, and they've been our funnest challenge and our funnest builds for sure. So anglerfish oh. for me and popcorn for Danny, of course. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, well, and what a week for you guys. Honestly, it's been magic, and we've loved watching you. And we can't wait to see where you guys go next. We are uh, we're pumped for tonight. Yes, go team, <laughs> go team, married couple. Woo! Woo! Hey! Thank you so much for joining us, and we can't wait to chat again. And good luck for tonight. Oh, thank you. Maddie and Timmy. <laughs>